Well, I stayed in, uh, they had, there was, uh, where I stayed was called the Red Room, and you press a button, uh, it was like a, I can always remember, I could see, I, um, it was next to this, uh, I don't know what you call it, what do you call something yes, a uh, knight in armor, but it's fake, what do you call it, it's, you know, it's like, a knight, a knight, so he was there, and then, uh, uh, I mean, it's not a person, it's the, yeah, the uniform, the armor. yeah, and uh, so behind him on the wall was like you press uh, this thing on the wall and the wall opened up and you climb the stairs, you go up, up, up. Wow. And that was my room was the red room. And then it was connected with the blue room and you shared a bathroom. And that was kind of strange because like when you open the door, sometimes the other person opened the door. It's like, oh, hello. So, you know. <laughs> Tell them about the, the actual mansion. Um, you know, like your relationship with you Hefner and stuff like that. Okay, so Hefner with me, I mean, you know, and he is, he's still... Um, How long did it take you to like, they flew you out to the photo shoot? Right. And then did you meet him right then and there, before or uh, after? Um, or like, I met, no, I met him that when I got to stay, like the first night, he... Uh, I heard the door. I was talking to my sister on the phone. I saw him here. You know, I'm in the mansion. And uh, so I heard it go, Shh, you know, and that meant that door opened up to the, you know, <laughs> climbing up the stairs. I said, somebody's coming. And it was Hefner. And he sent me uh, these roses. They were yellow roses. And uh, so I said, talk to my sister. I was all excited. So she was talking to him. And she was telling him, take good care of my sister. Well, anyway, uh, and then, so, he, and he said to me, um, because I was going to bed, I always go to bed early. So he says, "Tell me, tell me, time you go to bed." And the good today. Eight thirty. She does. She does. I don't pull after seven. Dad finished. Uh, so he said, um, uh, "I'd like to spend the, the uh, night with you." And I said, "Well, I'm going to bed." He said, "Well, I just got up because he would sleep all day and get." Oh, it's the you know? first time I'm hearing this one. Look oh at you. yeah, no, yeah. but um, and I said, "No, you know," and then because uh, I wasn't. And, and you know when you're, you know, well, I, th- I thought he was old, you know, but he wasn't really old. He was like in his forties, but um, so we never did anything. But he was very polite, and he said, "You're a very young uh, ni- that that just now I'm turning nineteen. He said, you're a very young nineteen year old." And I thought, "Oh, okay." <laughs> so anyway, <no. laughs> but nothing, you know. He was very polite, very yeah. nice. And at that time, that's what he was going with Barbie Benton. I don't know if you know who she is, but she was um, his girlfriend, and she would come. You would see her once in a while, and then they fly off and go somewhere so Uh how long from the time that you went into the the playboy and you saw the 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 manager from that time and that they flew you back to your house and that you became centerfold how long did that process take oh you mean like when i was at uh, uh, new york yeah from from new york to your home to get into playboy to be the centerfold oh that well i mean to a bit so it was out in the magazine right and you got to there yeah uh well we did the shooting i think was in october and it came out in june so. But when did you first walk into Playboy in New York? Oh, in October. So it happened yeah, pretty quick. Yeah, very fast. Spontaneous. And I always think it was meant to be. Right, it was. It was Absolutely, it, yeah. I know that too. Yeah.